Hello folks. So I went up this morning to a, a, a the old 1890s location. I thought I'd do a little bit of digging there. Drove for quite a ways to get there. Once I got there I realized I will not be doing any more digging there, at least this year. And I won't go into details, but so that was sort of a wasted trip. I did explore around a bit, but I basically found a big old goose egg of stuff. So, in an attempt to salvage what's left of the day, I'm back to the old honey hole, and I'm going to try my luck here. And it's probably getting about that time of the year where I want to get a hole started anyway, so let's get into that. There's where I left off in this hole from the last time I was here, which was in the spring. Let's just get down in here and have a quick look. Oh, yeah, that goes way back up in there quite a ways. Looks like there's a lot of work to do here. I might not get into too many finds today. Oh. Little corker on the surface. Cave in material. Alright. I'm gonna get at it. Alright folks, so I'm just cutting this root out here. I'm gonna remove this. I don't know why I never removed that earlier when I was here in the past, but I didn't anyway. I'm gonna do it today. But in the process, I see here's a bottle here sticking out. No, okay, it's just a slick screw top. There's an amber one though, caught my attention. And here's something up here too. I see sticking out of the brown ground here. Right in the roots. Look at that. It's a screw top too, but it's a great big Absorbing Junior bottle. Big ol' one. WF Young Inc. Montreal, Canada. Uh, consumer glass mark on the base. That might even be from the late 20s, early 30s. That's the biggest Absorbing Junior bottle I've ever found. Check it out. That'd make a nice picture right there. Well, I thought I'd get you up there while I just cut some of these away, folks. I'm not sure what sort of footage this is going to make. Oh, I don't know. Kind of real close to the camera. There's a... I might even put you in the dirt here. <laughs> kind of setting up on a branch. Don't do too much wobbling here. But, uh, let's cut some of these away. Look, you see that in there? Blue bottles. Let's pull that out. Awesome. Phillips Mocha Mag. Looks like it's one from the 50s though. Hasn't got that extra uh, lettering down on the base here. Still good keeper. We'll keep that. I'll continue on cutting these out of the way. Little amber flask. Screw top though. Oh, <laughs> turn that around. <laughs> Check it out, folks. There's a little relic I see fell out. Huh. Some sort of pin or maybe it was a button. I'm not sure. It's the bust of somebody though. Interesting. Alright. Back at it. Deep dark hole.
All right, folks. Actually, making some headway here. I got that opened up, as you can see. Here's where that root was, right up across there, and I got all that opened up there now. And just while I was scraping this back, check it out. I spotted this down here. There's a marble right inside that calf. Looks like it's stuck there. Probably in good condition, though. <laughs> All right, I'll get that out of there. <laughs> Have a look at this. Okay, I got the cap broke away there pretty much. I think it's ready to come out. Let's uh, find something to tap it on here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that's in great condition. It's uh, smaller than the normal size ones too. I don't know if it's as small as a peewee or not, but it's definitely tiny. All right. Good little find. Thumbs up. A Coke bottle rolled out. What's it gonna be? 1951. These Canadian ones don't really have much color to them. They're basically clear. They don't have any uh, town names on them either, as you can notice. No. Well, it's cool though. It's in pretty good condition. You got a bottle sticking out of the sidewall, folks. Just looks like a graduated med, but you never know. Could be embossed on the other side. Could be a local med. Let's pull it out and have a look. No, it's just like say a normal graduated med. <sighs> Yeah, now we're making some headway. We're actually getting into the hole here now. Right on. Okay, folks, I got what well, looks like an interesting base up in here. Sticking out. See it there? So I thought I'd just get you in here while I see if I can get that out. It's an interesting shape to it, so it might be something half decent. Just hope it doesn't break when it falls. Oh no, it's just a screw top. Bring on the stoneware. <laughs> I'm ready for some stoneware. <laughs> He's just thinking, folks. Can I please get something other than a Listerine or a Lysol? <laughs> right down here, I just scraped something up. Check it out. Oh, it looks like the lip is chipped. I think, I don't know if that's case gin or not. Yes, it is. Is it just a slick one? Yes, it is. Just a slick one with some lip damage on it. Well, it might possibly still be the best bottle I've dug yet today. <laughs> uh, well, right down to the bottom of it here now. So I am making some headway, but it's a lot of work. This is one of those spots where you either do a lot of work and get nothing, or you get into a pocket and you find all kinds of stuff. So anyways, let's keep going. Okay, so I'm in here cutting roots out, folks, and I see the natural bottle sticking out right here. Check it out. It's cork top. And it's amber. Let's see what it is. Slick. Go figure. Can't tell if that's machine made. Yeah, I think it's machine made. Ah, frick. Let's keep going. Anything else up in there? Doesn't look to be anything. 
nothing any good anyways. I am just getting basically absolutely nothing out here today, folks. I can almost see right up in through to the other side there now. This little puppy just rolled out. Looks like a squib bottle from here, a green one. And it is, it's embossed up on the shoulder there, squib. I don't think you can see it. Maybe there you can. That's yeah, on that side as well. It's going to be a screw top. They're a nice shape and a nice color. A green one. Usually find brown ones, so I'll take a green one. I like the green ones. Okay, I'm just reaching up under this metal thing with the rake, folks, and uh, scraping away. I got a bottle just come out right here. It is a cork top, looks like. Yep, and this machine made full of liquid and it's not embossed. Consumer gloss mark on the base. It doesn't even have a bluish hint to it. I don't. Oh, look at that gunk floating around in that. Yeah, I got a little something here, folks. I was booked to huff it down over the bank, actually. Thought I'd pick it up and check it out. Doesn't look like much, does it? However, it's cobalt blue. And it's got a little lid on it. No embossing, though, but uh, cool. Cobalt blue. Neat one. I'm right in the hole. If you look up, way up in there, you can see a little bit of light shining through. Now, if I come over the hole, come back this way. There's the hole there. And up in here, is where I'd been digging last year, that all collapsed on me. So. The light you're seeing from in the hole is from over there. Well, I suspect by the time I get back here again, this here whole section probably collapse down in. So that'll give me some digging to do. <laughs> Woohoo! And before we get going, let's have a look at a few more of these finds here. I didn't get a whole lot today, but that's an interesting blue one. First time I've dug one up quite like that, that shape. Yeah, look out. It's a little strap side one, but it's a slim, tall one. Kind of weird. There's a little perfume or something here. Corker. Kind of neat. The old common Raleigh's bottle. A couple other cobalt blue ones here. This big liquor bottle. It is machine made. Nice light green colored one. Frag, she just keeps. Falling in there. Yep. Um, other than that, the rest are all just common ones. Slickers. That is a blown one there. Too bad the corner's busted out of it. Bunch of graduated meds. Not really much to speak of. A couple of cork top inks. Watermans, they look like. A couple of these come out, but they're all busted up. Blue insulators. All right, so I'm going to get out of here. I don't know if I'll have a cleanup or not, but anyways, catch you later.